Happy Friday. Friday, happy Friday. Just in case. Mm. Yeah, I know where that little snippet was from. My real movie watchers will know that. <laughs> All right, beautiful people. Happy Friday. It is May the 27th, 2022, day 119 of year four of reading through the books of the Law and the Prophets under the four-year consecutive day count, day 1137. And today we're going to pick up in the book of Osiris in the Oaspe on page 132. And then if we get time today, we'll get back to page 154 in the meditation book. All right, y'all. So, Father, thank you for another day. We starting. All right, y'all. Sometimes I just like to get right to it in my prayers. I don't like to do long, drawn out prayers. I really don't. Like for what? <laughs> like if I need help with something, I ain't going through this long dissertation. I'm like, help me, please. <laughs> like, seriously. I learned how to do that. Just get right to the point. And sometimes I know that um, even when they're in certain situations, when there are not even words to say, that our great creator, the most holy, can even hear the thoughts in our hearts, right? And sometimes even those are sufficient for prayers, and they work just as when you open your mouth. All right, y'all. Chapter 4. Top part of the OASP on page 132. I'm going to Greetings. Osiris lost no time, but Officer Gal and established his council in hot haste, making Oat, or it could be OT, Oat, we'll say OT, OTE, making OT as temporary God on the throne, while he, whilst he himself went forth to other regions to conquer and overturn false gods and lords, leaving therefore a sufficient guard and council. Osiris, with a host of 20 millions, went westward in atmosphere over and above the great central north lands where was established Watchok, a false god with another 100 million slaves to do his will. Watchok, having been advised by the messengers of Osiris' approach to the earth's heavens, Supposing Osiris to be from some remote star and not knowing there were ethereal worlds in the firmament, had laid his kingdom round with new walls and doubly fortified his throne and gaudily attired himself and officers in hopes to overawe the coming God. Right? So remember, these false gods that set themselves up at false gods completely uh, forgot that there were other worlds and that there was truly really a great creator right because remember for them to set themselves i mean because they didn't keep going in their schooling they they just they i would say they assumed right out of ignorance that it's only us there is no other god we are gods right and since i'm the best out of all of you i'm gonna be god and y'all can be my subjects audrey shalom shalom okay to watch out came Osiris and waited not to be announced nor halted for his sentinels, driving his ship th straight up to the throne. Halt, halt, cried the astonished watch out. Who dares, hold on, who dares my throne profane and all the rules of virtuous gods set at defiance? Down from thy ship and crawl on thy belly to thy sovereign God. Know thou I am great Apollo. Oh, you Apollo too? We just dethroned Apollo over here in this other region. You ain't heard about that yet. Know thou I am great Apollo, but Osir deigned only to say, By what authority hast thou made slaves of Jehovah's sons and daughters to augment thine own self glory? And not waiting a reply, lighted down before the throne even while a thousand or more well drilled with him stood 
in the form of a star, whereon the upper light descended in great brilliancy. Watchok was frightened and fled from his Apollo flees from his throne. Watchok was frightened and fled from his throne and all his counsel with him. Then spake Osiris, saying to his host, Suffer not this false god and his counsel to escape, and circle them round and hold them to know my will and the decree of Jehovah. Presently the Ethereans brought back Watchok, who cried out, Oh, let me go. Take all, but let me go. What am I to be? Is this your king? Is this your king? Like, I, I would have been out there instigating the whole thing. Is <laughs> This is your king? <laughs> Shayla G. Great rising. Osiris answered him, saying, Such hath been the history of these events. In ages gone, the upright, oh, I'm sorry, the usurping false gods were suffered to go their way leaving their former subjects helpless on the hands of the Ethereum host. That day is past. I am come to make such gods know that their fate and responsibilities rest on the decrees of a higher one, even the creator Jehovah. Behold, thou hast cast down, cast down and blighted a hundred million of Jehovah's children, making slaves of them to do thy will as thou were the cause of their fallen state from liberty to bondage, so now shalt thou redeem them to freedom and wisdom and truth. Remember what happened, right? Mom, Shalom, yesterday. You don't get to create fires and not control them and clean them up, right? You make the mess, oh, buddy, don't call on Jesus. He ain't coming to fix this for you. You got to clean this up, right? And you ain't going nowhere till you get it done. And every single person that you've led astray until every single one of them has been redeemed by the truth from your mouth. And they are raised to the level where you are. You're not going anywhere. Have a good time. We're watching you. They should let me be there. I, I'll tell them. <laughs> Whilst Osiris spake, his proper officers let fall the light from the upper regions, the like of which Watchok had never beholden. Presently, all things became transparent, and the enraged Watchok, foreseeing trouble ahead, thus answered, Accuse me not, thou audacious God. These, my counsel, urged me hundreds of years ago to my course. Now you're blaming them. That's what we do. You blaming the people you rule over. Okay. These, my counsel, urged me hundreds of years ago to my course, and only for the favor they might remain my close advisors. I was their tool, and if thou desirest justice, make them to feel the sting of repentant labor. Let them have my slaves. I want them not. I have been a most honest, upright God. And now his counselors accuse one another, and all of them heaping the blame on Watchok. Lighter and lighter grew the ethereal flames, from which there was no concealment, and all their former falsehoods and cruel words and evil deeds were unveiled, disclosing souls dark and hideous with long, covered-up crimes, now made bare for the gaze of every eye. Mm. The witch seen brought the curious slaves in millions to witness it and to reassure the suffering false god of their love and loyalty. And when Watchot looked and beheld the abject wretches who claimed him as their worshipful god, he cried out, Enough, enough, unfeeling god. Thou art come in, pretended right and peace, but because of thy power, executed on me and my counsel torments more terrible than I ever gave to slave of mine. Know thou, I am Apollo. You still holding on to that, huh? Okay. To which Osiris answered, what are names to me? With that, Osiris, by waving his hand, caused his host to cast aside the false god's throne and all its glittering gems scattered abroad relics for the multitude and now three pillars of light shot up and stood beside osire and his attendants the witch took all the strength and courage 
out of Watchot and his confederates, and they crouched down at Osiris' feet. Osiris called Itu, saying, Take them without and hand them over to their slaves a while. And Itu and his guard gathered them from the light and bore them hence. Quickly now, Osiris officered this newly conquered place in heaven and called it Autat, signifying foundation of perishable laws. And on a new throne appointed Lucy as temporary God, giving him a council of 1,000 Ethereans. And now Osiris drew the plans for the robes and temples and schools and hospitals and nurseries and all such other habitations as are required by spirits newborn in heaven, leaving orders to have them completed by a given time. Next, Osiris ordered the divisions and selections to be made in the now scattered host of atmospherans and to have them all arrested and put into their proper places. These things he left in charge of God, Lucy, to be carried out. Far out on the plateau, Itu and his attendants carried Watchok and his confederates, followed by 40 million of his former slaves. There, Itu left Watchok and his people, and Itu and his attendants went aside to witness whatever should transpire. Transpire. At this stage, Osiah departed with his ship and steered southward over the land of Shem, coming to a place in the lower heaven called Reba, 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 V-I-B-R-A-H-J. I'm going to just say Vibraj. Vibra. Maybe the J is silent. I don't know. Are J's ever silent? No. Vibraj. Okay. We'll keep going. At this stage, Osai departed with his ship and steered southward over the land of Shem, coming to a place in the Lord heaven called Vibraj, signifying resplendent, where ruled the false god Davis. And after Davis is reference letter A. Okay, that's what I want. Reference letter A on page 146 says Davis. In the English translations from the Vedic from the Vedic scriptures, this God is spelled the same as Davis. Same exact spelling. Evil men are also characterized as Davis. 1882 edition. Okay. Maybe is it kind of like Divas? Davis? Okay. Let's say Davis because it's D-A. Okay. I'll start that sentence again. <clears throat> At this stage, Osiah departed with his ship and steered southward over the land of Shem, coming to a place in the lower heaven called Vibraj, signifying resplendent, where ruled the false god Davis, who had 800 million slaves, a thousand lords, and 10,000 governors. Remember, the land of Shem, according to this, is the land of India. Uncle JB. And even as Osiah rushed in headlong upon the other false gods, so came he with his fire ship into the great city of Vibraj, at this time the largest city of the lower heaven. Davis had been warned by his sentinels and so came to the front of his capital just in time to see the fearless Osiris alight on the piazza in front of the council house. Chapter 5. Osiris said, In the name of Jehovah, peace be unto thee. To which Davis replied, Nay, in the name of Apollo, who I am. Everybody want to be Apollo. No, not the name of Jehovah. In the name of Apollo. I'm Apollo. In my name. How, hold on, let me just start it again. They so, they bold. I mean, I guess you got to be bold to be a king. You, you, got, you, you got to really put on the show for people to believe it. Osiris said, in the name of Jehovah, peace be unto thee. To which Davis replied, nay, in the name of Apollo, who I am. How darest thou approach save to crawl on thy belly. For 400 years hath the honor of my kingdom been revered by all visiting gods, but thou comest as a barbarian. Down, wretch, erst I have thee bound and cast into prison. Osiris said, 
Why should I not come before thee? Behold, the great spirit created the whole universe for his sons and daughters. By what right hast thou usurped a portion? And whence thy authority to bid me kneel to thee? But if thou canst show me wherein thou hast one just claim to enslave these people, rather let thy garment run thither, for I am come in the name of the Father to liberate them, that they may be prepared for the second and third resurrections. O oh, O oh, sire, where art thou? <laughs> David said, Think not that I have neglected to prepare for rebellious gods like thee. Behold my millions of subjects. What is thy handful? Verily I tell thee, I have prisons large enough to hold thee and thy host. Neither flatter thyself that I am ignorant. For 200 years I wrought in the so-called resurrections. I made myself a slave to the multitude, giving all my labor and time. Then I beheld my follow and so built a third resurrection myself. This is therefore my lawful kingdom. Moreover, I tell thee to thy face, thou wretch, thou, there is no higher heaven than mine. Well, you bold, bold. Oh, he about to get it. Oh, Dave was about to get it. Listen, he's still talking junk. This is therefore my lawful kingdom. Moreover, I tell thee to thy face, thou wretch, there is no higher heaven than mine. Neither comest thou from a heaven great as mine, but having a great self-conceit, Thou art come for mischief. I have heard of thee in the other heavens, but now thou hast put thy head into the halter. Seize him, marshals. Seize him and his host. Cast them into prison. O sire, spake not, but raised his hand upward in the seventh sign, and suddenly his, ho his host cast forth sheets of light brighter than the sun. David stood back of frightened and his marshals fled. Bag all these regents. <laughs> he probably said, oh really? He didn't say nothing. He just looked like. <laughs> Listen, okay. Osiris spake not, but raised his hand upward in the seventh sign, and suddenly his host cast forth sheets of light brighter than the sun. David stood back of frightened, and his marshals fled. Presently, Osiris, with a thousand attendants, stepped forth in flames of light and went up into the capital and surrounded Davis, the usurper, but touched him not. And now the ship was illumined, and lo, the sentinels of David's council broke and fled. Hereupon Osiris spake, saying, Hand of thy hand, O Jehovah, voice of thy voice, overturn thou this house and throne. And behold, the light of the upper heavens rested in Osiris' palms, and he smote the house and the throne, and they tumbled over as straw before a hurricane. Alone stood Davis, the evil god, half speechless and half blinded by the great light of Jehovah. Down, down, said Osiris, to the walls and temples of the city, and his host concentrated at any point, and his host concentrated at any point Osiris' hand erected, and lo, everything fell and was scattered far. Meanwhile, the officers of Davis fled in all directions, save such as were overcome by the light, and these fell and buried themselves amidst the rubbish. Hold, hold, cried Davis. Give me air. I perish. I am a consuming fire. You're consuming fire now, but I thought you was Apollo, my G. Where art thou, great power? Now, save thyself. Let me be the hype man. <laughs> Hold, hold, cried Davis. Give me air. I perish. I'm a consuming fire. And he tossed his hands aloft, then cringed his face within his glittering robes. And now Osiris called forth thunder and lightning and sent shafts through and over and about the whole plateau of Vibrage and the den and roar confounded all the 800 million souls. So they ran no farther but stood and waited, watching what should befall next. Osiris halted not, but went forward to a more suitable place to build his throne. Jehovah Almighty, he cried, 
elements of thy elements, O Father, found here a throne for thy son. And even so, for whilst his words went forth, the elements arose to do his will, and there raised a most excellent throne, strong and adamantine, on which Osiris ascended. Davis had fallen flat down, weeping and wailing, but Osiris, by a motion of the hand, called Wanti, a most enlightened archangel, with her attendants to bear him hence, the which was quickly done. Quickly now, the place being cleared, the host of Osiris fenced around a sufficient space for a city of a thousand million souls with pillars of light as brilliant as an ark in the ethereal firmament. Here at Osiris appointed Clesta, dawn goddess, and he gave her a council of 50,000 ethereans. Outside the walls of the pillars of Agni were Davis and his 800 million subjects in dire confusion. Wang T, the archangel, said to Davis, In thine own falsehood, thou art favored to free thyself a while, to organize a new kingdom, but in holiness and return and command obedience from this smothering host. Let me read that again. Wang T, the archangel, the archangel, said to Davis, In thine own falsehood, thou art favored to free thyself a while, to organize a new kingdom, but in holiness and return and command obedience from this smothering host. Behold, thou hast taught them to believe thou art Apollo. Say to them now, I am not Apollo. I have been false. Davis madly replied, never. Jehovah and his kingdom are cursed be forever. Oh, you still holding up? Okay. We'll keep going with you. What amazes me or what is so beautiful that even when they come in here and turn over these false kingdoms, they still show them the utmost respect. Because you got to remember, these are still Jehovah's children. Even though they don't want to ride, it's like that. It's like that child that is that's going astray off the beaten path. You still love them. You know, we might need to turn up things on you a little hot so you can see the error of your ways and, and come back home to the sheepfold, right? But they they don't they don't torture them in a way we would think, man, torture him. He's been doing no, he don't even get to keep his life off with his head, right? They they're not even thinking that way. They're like we're going to turn the light up on you, my G, so you can see the error of your ways. And then we want to show you how you can rectify the situation so you can get back on the good side with us. You know, you could possibly really, truly rule one day. But in righteousness, let us show you how to do it right. This is so beautiful to me, right? It's a, it's a, it's like a, a whole 180 degree type thing. From what we read in the Bible, right? I'm just saying, I'm going to just throw it out here. Kill them all, men, women, and children. It really makes me think about what I've been believing all my life. It really does. Like, who? Mm, mm. You know, I'm just saying, I just want to put that out there, you know. Okay, listen. I'm read this again, verse 10. Wayne T, the arch, the archangel. I keep saying arch. The archangel said to Davis, in thine own falsehood, thou art favored to free thyself a while, to organize a new kingdom, but in holiness and return and command the obedience from the smothering host. Remember, they follow him just like baby ducks follow their mama all, all over the place, right? <laughs> they see him in, in chains of light, but they ain't got nowhere else to go. He didn't fool all of them. So he got this whole host of people following him ignorantly. Like he in chains, take us, we'll go in chains with you, you know? Listen, behold, thou hast taught them to believe that thou art Apollo. Say to them now, I am not Apollo. I have been false. Davis madly replied, never. Jehovah and his kingdom, a curse be forever. Ye strange spirits come from far off kingdoms to despoil and overturn the most righteous place in heaven. Are Jehovah and his servants destroyers? To which Wang T replied, this is no time for argument. <laughs> Behold, hear these countless millions. If I withdraw from thee and my attendants also withdraw, thou will be as one drowned amidst the sea of ignorance and horrid smells. 
Assume at once, for pity's sake, to purge thyself of thy lifelong falsehoods and treacherous tyranny. Announce thyself as Davis, as thou art, and I can save thee. Bruh. <laughs> Janie of Yah, shalom, shalom. Listen, like, you, we're going to give you a second chance. Listen, because if I go, bro, you ain't, it ain't no more. It ain't, you don't have any more chances. Davis, Davis rudely thrust her aside saying, never, I acknowledge to none. If there be a higher heaven, I will ascend thither as I am. Apollo, Apollo. Wang T said, put me not off in Jehovah's name. Remember what thou art, and of the little thou hast seen, how powerless thou art before um, omnipotence. Thy fate is like that of all dictators on the verge of a chasm of horrors. Davos awaited not to hear her further, but proclaimed aloud, Apollo, Apollo, and stood aside, bro. Like she tried to save you and gave you a third chance. You. And presently, his former officers rushed to him, and with that came the sea of millions of spirits, unorganized, unwashed, unfed, frightened and mad for the love of the name Apollo. Kind of like what they do for the love of the name of Jesus. I'm going to stop for somebody. Come with torches and pitchforks to get me. I don't care. I got the all light behind me. Bro, you ain't even going to get close. I'm going to stop. I'm, I'm still the hype man though. I'm going to stop. I'm going to still be talking junk. <laughs> and presently, his former officers rushed to him. And with that came the sea of millions of spirits, unorganized, unwashed, unfed, frightened and mad for the, for the love of the name Apollo, the meaning of which they knew not. And they became as a knot of servants entwined around the central figure Davis and his officers, and in the terrible brawl, not one voice could be distinguished from another, and the outer extreme pressed inward, onward, ev I'm sorry, and the outer extreme pressed inward on every side, and presently the 800 million were as a ball, a knot of darkness, with a dull and rumbling moan within, and fearful clamor on the surface from which horrid smells issued in all directions oh boy you got a kingdom but it stank uh you and your people <sighs> this is not the light of life verse 13 wang t and her attendants hastened back to the throne of osiris son of jehovah to tell what had happened osiris said what shall i do O father then the light of jehovah came and jehovah spake saying consider my creation my son the young child I made to fall with few bruises, but the full grown man falleth heavily. Shall I make a separate rule to favor kings and queens on earth and false gods in heaven? Now that'll preach. I don't listen to let me read that again. Listen to this. First of all, let, let's just look at this example he gave. He said, My son, consider my creation. A young child. When he falls, think about it. Babies learning how to walk and stuff. Even the young child, even if they run in full breakneck speed, right? They are so close to the ground that they don't really have that many bruises. They may, yeah, they may scratch up their knee, whatever, you know. But that's it. They'll be okay. Kiss the boo boo. Go on. Maybe put a bandage on if they're bleeding a little bit, right? But oh, you'll be okay. Now, for grown man running at breakneck speed, full grown man, about six feet, but you got a long way to go to the ground right and when you fall you fall hard right you fall hard and depending on how old you are if you already got aches and pains in your body it may just throw you out of commission for the rest of your life now you got back problems knee problems you get to forecast us every time it's about to rain like all this stuff you fall hard listen to this and tear yourself up hold on let's go back listen wait verse 13 page 136 at the top Wang T and her attendants hastened back to the throne of Osiris, son of Jehovah, to tell what had happened. Osiris said, What shall I do, O father? Then the light of Jehovah came, and Jehovah spake, saying, Consider my creation, my son. 
The young child I made to fall with, with few bruises, but the full grown man falleth heavily. Shall I make a separate rule to favor kings and queens on earth and false gods in heaven? Nay, verily, behold, I will make of Davis an example in heaven and on earth also. Because he has spurned his own name, so will I make both angels and mortals to curse and shun the name Davis. Osiris said, Proceed ye with my kingdom in the name of the Father. Let Davis rest a while as he is. At that, Osiris departed, taking the remainder of his host with him in his fire ship, and he went to a heavenly place to the westward, where was Saru, a false god, with ten million slaves, and Osiris destroyed Saru's kingdom also. Next, he went to a heavenly place in the north, where Raka, excuse me, a false god had 70 million slaves, and Osiris destroyed his kingdom also, liberating his slaves and putting a guard over Raqqa. Thus went Osiris throughout atmosphere, demolishing all the heavenly kingdoms of the false gods, of whom there were in all 780, but many of them had not a million subjects. Thirty days in all was Osiris engaged in destroying the evil kingdoms and the lower heavens, and then the work was finished. Osiris said to his house, For thirty days we labored in destroying that which was. Now we will rebuild to Jehovah another thirty days. Take the ship, therefore, to Vibraj, for thither will I found my central kingdom. And after we shall have completed the work of starting the second resurrection on a sure foundation, then we will go down to the earth and overturn the kingdoms of these false lords and men. Oh, we have 33 minutes. I'll let y'all choose today. Because I want to keep going. I chose it yesterday. Y'all want me to keep going? Or y'all want to hop over to the meditation book? I'll wait. First answer wins. Keep reading or go to the meditation book. Keep reading. We got it. Chapter 6. Jehovah said, For Braj shall be my place. Thy throne, O Sire, shall be my throne. Send sheriffs out into all the divisions of the earth where thou hast destroyed the evil kingdoms and thy sheriffs shall arrest all the false gods whom thou hast dispossessed and bring them thither that i may speak with them face to face then spake osiah to the sheriffs saying go ye out into all the divisions of atmosphere and arrest and bring hither all the false gods whom i have dethroned saying to each of them, O Sire, God of the lower heaven, commandeth thy presence. Come thou and hear the voice of thy creator. But it shall happen that many will fear to come because of the light, lest their evil deeds be seen. Say to, say to all such, the light will be lowered for a short space of time. Come, therefore, quickly. To all the knots, to, to all the knots, K-N-O-T-S, like tying a knot, to all the knots where the false gods are enveloped, shall ye take umbre, a sufficiency that ye may release them, but leave ye with the knots a sufficient guard to keep them in their places. The sheriffs went abroad as commanded, being sufficiently provided with attendance and all things required for such adventures. And after many days, the false gods were arrested and brought before the throne of God, Osiah, Jehovah's son. And there were assembled on that occasion 100,000 archangels, of whom 2,000 had risen to the rank of gods and goddesses, and 30,000 to the rank of lords and lordesses. Osiah said to the false ones, Brothers, greeting in the name of Jehovah, nor shall ye fear, nor be expectant of torture or punishment. Though I come in all power, my words shall be tempered with wisdom. But I can be no respecter of persons, nor swerve one jot or tittle from Jehovah's commandments. The, bond, the bondage of all men was in the Father. For before ye were 
conscious individuals. Jehovah stretched forth his hand, and ye came forth from void, which was your prison, in which yourselves had been as nothing. In likeness of the Father, I came to deliver them, ye had bounded. And through him have I attained power to that end. So in likeness of him also, I cannot bind you or cast you into prison. Nay, my sheriffs have just delivered you from bondage, and I am now holding you free from the knots. Most of ye are learned men of the second resurrection, but ye have used your wisdom for self-glorification, being proud to call yourselves gods, not to teach them of Jehovah and his kingdoms, but falsely teaching that your own kingdoms were the all highest, thereby shutting out the true light from the unlearned. Bro, listen, let me read that again. In likeness of the Father. The more I read this, y'all, it almost literally breaks my heart to believe even, oh my gosh, even in a Torah that we might have been worshiping one of these false gods, right? Whom we thought to be the all light, the great creator, right? Because just think about some of this. Let me just, let's just let this marinate, y'all. Listen, let me go back to verse six. The bondage of all men was in the Father, for before ye were conscious individuals, Jehovah stretched forth his hand, and ye came forth from void, which was your prison, in which yourselves had been nothing. In likeness of the Father, I came to deliver them ye had bounded, and through him have I attained power to that end. So in likeness of him also I cannot bind you or cast you into prison. Nay, my sheriffs have just delivered you from bondage, and I am now holding you free from the knots. Most of ye are learned men of the second resurrection, but ye have used your wisdom for self-glorification, being proud to call yourselves gods, not to teach them of Jehovah and his kingdoms, but falsely teaching that your own kingdoms were the, high, were the all highest, thereby shutting out the true light from the unlearned. Jehovah have blessed you with all, I'm sorry. Jehovah have blessed you all with strong minds and handsome forms, whereupon ye have ye have each of you falsely proclaimed ye were Apollo. Think not that this matter was not known in high heaven. I have heard the reports of swift messengers who were brought to me in the firmament above. I came not in ignorance of what ye were doing. Neither came I in weakness. More than a hundred thousand million who have been raised up to Ethera from the earth and its heavens stand at my side. Besides these, a million times as many Ethereans from other worlds and above all of these, the great Orion chiefs, and yet beyond and over all, great Jehovah. Have I not proved my power before you all? Did I go away in the corner and say, Come, and I will show you my power. Nay, I came close to you all. As the Father first proved the power, so have I. After that, wisdom, that I may talk to you in wisdom. I had you arrested and brought hither. Hear me then and remember my words. In former cycles, the high gods who descended to these heavens, finding false gods, simply liberated their slaves but put to no labor of restitution on the false gods. This was because the false gods of those periods were too imbecile and unlearned. But the earth and her heavens have progressed to a higher state, and with progression cometh also responsibility. <laughs> when we were talking about that yesterday, we got to be responsible, right? Listen. In formal cycles, the high gods who descended to these heavens, finding these false gods, simply liberated their slaves, but put no labor of restitution on the false gods, meaning, okay, we're going to free your slaves. You're going to get out of here. Stop it. Right? He said because they were too imbecile. They were too unlearned to do anything else. But now that the earth has progressed and risen to higher levels and more, the ones who've taken up these positions again as false gods and false lords, they they not so dumb, right? So you know what you knew what you was doing, 
right? So now you're going to have to go back and pick. We ain't just going to let you go, right? Because you, you knew what you was doing. Get in here and get this mess up. But the earth and her heavens have progressed to a higher state. And with progression cometh also responsibility. With learning cometh responsibility. And with wisdom also. Ye bound your spirits to your kingdoms. And ye perceive now ye cannot put them aside. Ye taught them your kingdoms were the all highest. They must now be unlearned. Ye taught them that ye were the all highest gods. They must be unlearned in this also. Ye put aside the ancient rites and ceremonies wherein the name of Jehovah was used, teaching them to sing to you only. They must be taught new songs, submitting, I'm sorry. They must be taught new songs, substituting the great spirit to whom none can attain forever. Ye taught them to be unthinking and contended as slaves. They must now be taught to think for themselves. They must now be taught to think for themselves. Bruh. That's when you know you got a true leader. A true leader will teach you to think for yourself. I don't need you to be here with me, <laughs> obeying my every whim and command. I want to teach you to think for yourself. I don't want you to be my employee. I want you to get out there and do what I'm doing. Become your own business owner. Let me teach you how to do this, right? You ain't going to be no competition to me. There's more than enough business out there for all of us. We don't have to fight for business, but we can help build one another up. You can get it. I can get it. You can get it. Listen. Ye taught them to be unthinking. Hold on, let me go back. Let me just start the whole verse over again. Ye bound your subjects to your kingdoms, and ye perceive now ye cannot put them aside. Ye taught them your kingdoms were the all highest. They must now be unlearned. Ye taught them that ye were the all highest gods. They must be unlearned in this also. Ye put aside the ancient rites and ceremonies wherein the name of Jehovah was used, teaching them to sing to you only. They must be taught new songs, submitting, I keep saying submitting, substituting the great spirit to whom none can attain forever. Ye taught them to be unthinking and contended as slaves. They must now to be taught to, they must now be taught to think for themselves and to labor for everlasting liberty. And now, touching the law of resurrection, remember ye, this is the same in all the created worlds, which is that the spirit of man groweth by giving away of whatsoever the spirit hath to give. And now, touching the law of the resurrection, remember ye, this is the same in all the created worlds, which is that the spirit of man groweth by giving away whatsoever the spirit hath to give. If ye have great learning and ye give of it, then shall more learning be added unto ye, be added unto you. If ye have goodness of heart and gentle words, then by giving this away, more shall be added unto you. If ye have craft and inventions or mechanics, and ye bestow of these talents unto others, then will more be added unto you. As the corporean man accumulated corporal things by not giving them away, not so accumulated the spirit of any man. That was good. For he who locketh up the light of the Father that is in him cannot obtain more light. He who locketh up goodness of heart cannot obtain strength of spirit. And without strength of spirit, no man can attain to the third resurrection. But that men may learn to obtain strength of spirit, the second resurrection hath been established in atmosphere belonging to all the habitable corporal worlds. The chief delight of man shall be, therefore, to find some way to impart his spiritual talents and strength and the greatest... Hold on, let me begin. The chief delight of man shall be, therefore, to find some way to impart his spiritual talents and strength and to the greatest possible number of people. Think not that preaching to the ignorant is sufficient, but ye shall take hold with your own hands and show them how to accomplish. That's good. This is good, y'all. Nor shall man 
after having taught and raised up a few, say, Behold, what a good work I have done. But as long as he findeth a man or woman or child who lacketh in anything, he shall feel to say, Alas, what have I done? Alas, what I have done is as nothing in the resurrection of my fellows. For the rule holdeth for all men alike to desire exaltation and everlasting liberty and, and unlimited power. And unless ye are prepared to give even these unto others, then ye cannot att attain them yourselves. Neither is it possible for man to turn away from responsibility to whom the Father hath given, from him the Father required. Ye have had your kingdoms, yea, and boasted of them. Your boasts have ascended to Ethera. Will ye go thither and be asked, Where is thy kingdom? Shall it be said, Ye shriek from the care of them the Father gave into your keeping? Bethink ye, O brothers. He called them brothers now. All these tyrants. He called them brothers. Bethink ye, O brothers, when the conscience of man burneth inward, there is still darkness slumbering in his soul. The ethereal lights will burn him. He whose conscience no longer burned inward, becometh himself a brilliant light of flame. Through him, Jehovah speaketh. Osiris ceased, and now a brilliant light descended around about the throne. And presently, Jehovah spake through Osiris, saying, Times and half times have I given to my corporal worlds and their heavens. In a time have I made a full resurrection to those who aspire to my heavens above. Nor do I go away from any place I created, saying, Go thou alone for a season. But in a time I manifest a new light, for such also are my creations. Think not that I have given seasons to corporal worlds only. I gave seasons to atmosphere also. Is not a summer on earth half a time, and the winter half a time, and the two one full time? So created I for atmosphere a time of 400 years and a half of time, 200 years. And in seven times, one, I'm sorry. And in seven times and one half time created I one Dan Ha. I sent my gods to teach these things since thousands. Hold on. I sent my gods to teach these things since thousands of years whereby my angels might know the times of my resurrections. Hath not a farmer knowledge of the resurrection of spring when I cover the earth over with new growing things which I raise up out of the earth? How much more knowledge should my angels have of my spring times and atmosphere when my archangels come to gather in my harvest of emancipated souls? I commanded my Ethereum host, saying, Go ye to the lower heaven, and teach them there there is no such thing as, indiviz as individual resurrection. And they came proclaiming my word, showing all people... <laughs> Something just dawned on me. Listen, let me read this again. Let me read this again. Verse 23, page 139. I commanded my Ethereum host, saying, Go ye to the lower heaven and teach them there is no such thing as individual resurrection. Right? As soon as I read that, you know what popped in my mind? In the New Testament, when JC was resurrected, while everybody stood there looking up, right an individual resurrection i commanded my ethereal host saying go ye to the lower heaven and teach them there is no such thing as individual resurrection and they proclaiming my word showing all people that any number of individuals were as nothing unless united which is the salvation i provided unto all my worlds for I created progress to be in compact, nor gave I to any person 
individual salvation or resurrection, that all men might learn the advantage of compact. I cause mortals to have corporal languages and to live in cities, meaning if you're going to go, we go together, right? That's how he said he created us. That's why he created us to live in families like you can't do it by yourself. You, we ain't bring you up here by yourself. Why are you coming by yourself? Go back. You need a whole group with you. This is done in groups, right? Uh, listen. For I created progress to be in compact. Now, that's a principle we can see all over the world. Everything that we do, right? Yo, this is this is amazing. For I created progress to be in compact, nor gave I to any person indi individual salvation or resurrection, that men might learn the advantage of compact. I cause mortals to have corporal languages and to live in cities, that ye in atmosphere might learn the all perfection of being one with one another. I gave you the second resurrection, teaching you through my gods and lords to abnegate self-aspiration, for self-aspiration is at the expense of others, but commanding ye to learn to assimilate with one another. Oh, this is so good, y'all. This is so good. What we at? 53 minutes? Ugh. And I gave rites and ceremonies, amongst which was the oath of service unto me and my kingdoms, and unto none other, wherein many bound themselves, which was and is the beginning of liberty, touching which matter I created types on earth and in the lower heavens, that even the unlearned might, un might understand me and my works. Let me read that again. Touching which matter... I created types on earth and in the lower heavens that even the unlearned might understand me and my works. For to him that begiveth children gave I bondage to them and to him conjointly. But this is a bondage that circumvented not liberty in time to come, but they can ascend to heaven and progress conjointly better than alone. But some gave themselves up to love earthly things, such as houses and money and kingdoms, which things have no resurrection. Hence, such bondage holdeth the person after death to the thing he loved, right? That's how you get them fetals, right? And them druhas, they coming back, latching them. You got haunted houses, right? People who haven't learned the, what y'all, the whole point of being here in groups, what they're saying, right? They coming back because of love of things. Bury my money with me. No, gee, I'm going to throw this car in on you. Hopefully, they'll raise you back up so you can get some sense and do it right. <laughs> For to him that begetteth children gave our bondage to them and to him conjointly. But this is a bondage that circumventeth not liberty in time to come. For they can ascend to heaven and progress conjointly better than alone. But some gave themselves up to love earthly things, such as houses and money and kingdoms, which things have no resurrection. Hence, such bondage holdeth the person after death to the thing he loved. Yo, I know this might sound like blasphemy right now. <laughs> but I've gotten, I mean, I get it. When you're a baby, you need milk. When you get a little bit older, you start developing teeth, you need some meat to chew on, right? <laughs> Something with a little more consistency. I know this might sound like blasphemy, but this is how I feel. As of today, we only on page 139. I feel like I've gotten more life from this book than I have. But not to throw the baby out with the bathwater, because that's all I had was the Bible, right? But I feel like I've gotten more life from this since we've been reading this in the last how many years? Look, and I only been what you say? That's why I just said, listen, no, not to throw the baby out with the bathwater. Right, right. Okay, yeah, that's that's what I said. It. In the whole, yeah, in, in, in the, all of this, you have gotten to this point, right? Yeah, to be able to receive, right? Yeah, okay, all right, yeah, that, that sounds better. That sounds better, you you yeah, better. okay, yeah. Well, I guess I'm just at this point, I'm able to pull life out of everything, right? Because when I had, I mean, 
Bible was it. I mean, it still is, right? But as I grew, the more I read over and over, I just consumed it to where it's like, okay, I've got all the milk now. I I, I need some meat. What's next, right? I don't know. But this, this, is, this is like giving me life. Like, what have we found in here, at least? I haven't really found anything that I can, like, truly argue with. Like, to pit the Bible against it. I'm just like... At least all the good things that I've learned from the Bible, right? I've taken, right? I throw the baby out with the bathwater. Give me, give me all the good sustenance from him. I'm gonna keep that, make it a part of me, take it along with me. And now I'm just adding to my learning as I grow. All right, all right. Thank you, dear wonderful husband. <laughs> he just walked through there. Okay, hold on. Let me go back. Let me go back to verse twenty-six. For to him that begat children gave I bondage to them and to him conjointly. But this is a bondage that circumventeth not liberty in time to come. For they can ascend to heaven and progress conjointly better than alone. But some gave themselves up to love earthly things such as houses and money and kingdoms, which things have no resurrection. Hence, such bondage holdeth the person after death to the thing he loved, in type of which many have set up kingdoms in the lower heavens, binding themselves to things that have no higher resurrection, which things belong on the plateau of atmosphere where I created them. But to them who have bound themselves to their fellows, saying, I am the salvation. It is like a young man saying to a maiden, Come, and I will be thy husband. And she goeth to him in confidence. Here then is bondage, and she beholdeth him as the way of her salvation, wherein not he alone can annul that which hath been united, nor yet they twain, for by their bondage I am also a party of the contract. What you mean? What you talking about? By our bondage, or by our marriage contract, Yah is a part of the contract. Oh, yeah. Yeah, listen, that's good, though. Listen. Verse 27, in type of which many have set up kingdoms in the lower heavens, binding themselves to things that have no higher resurrection, which things belong on the plateau of atmosphere where I created them. But to them who have bound themselves to their fellows, saying, I am the salvation. It is like a young man saying to a maiden, come and I will be thy husband. And she go to him in confidence. Here then is bondage, and she holdeth him as the way of her salvation, wherein not he alone can annul that which hath been united, nor yet they twain, for by their bondage I am also a party to the contract, which reminds me of the scripture, um, uh, um, what God hath joined together, let not man put asunder. Or let man not separate. That which y'all has joined together, right? Because sometimes y'all don't join it together. And things get all chopped and screwed up into many pieces. Maybe he didn't put that together. <laughs> yeah, maybe you. But sometimes he could have put it together. And we by our own foolishness trying to chop it and screw it. And we taking it apart. And y'all's like, mm -mm, nope, I'm a part of this contract. We're going to keep this together. Y'all going to fix y'all message. Y'all going to work this out, right? <laughs> so me and my husband, ooh, look, you go to your corner, I'm going to go to my corner. But we're going to come back and we got to deal with this. We got to fix it, right? Twenty, Almost 21 years and fixing the fires that we created. <laughs> it, ain't, it, it ain't worse than what it used to be. Yeah, it ain't as bad as it used to be. Back in the day, man, it was... The main thing with marriages, man, in the beginning, it is... One of each other is trying to control and trying to put, you know, put their stamp on. It's a power know. struggle. It really is, you know. But once you get over, it ain't that serious. Yeah. Yeah. It gets better. Yeah. We was like, pop, pop, bumping heads because he come. He's like the baby of his family, but he's like the, they call him the, the, what do they call you, the, the the baby big brother or something like that the yeah, little big bro right because like the older ones come to him for wisdom and it's like he he like for his side of the family he's like the sustainer but he's the baby literally the baby of his bunch 
for I'm a baby. <laughs> yeah, he the baby, right? But also playing <laughs> basketball like the leader, like everything, all that stuff. He he's always and been in positions of like leadership, you know, even when he didn't know it. So he come from that that avenue of life. Me actually being the oldest of my crew, you know, being having to babysit, take charge of things, do this, do this, then going into the military and being trained and stuff. So it's like two leaders coming together. Who gonna rule this ship, right? Who the captain? I'm the captain. You ain't girl, you better sit your butt down. <laughs> Fighting back and forth. And then I had to learn some humility. Like, listen, don't come to me with the Bible stuff and women shall be submissive. You know? <laughs> I don't know what Bible you reading, but you're reading it wrong. Some men have probably taught you that wrong, right? So all this stuff, I'm like, wait a minute, okay. We can't have two drivers behind the wheel. Okay, let me just kind of sit back and look at this. Okay. And sometimes it just got tiring, right? You know, because I tire out probably a little bit faster than what my husband was. So probably by him, him standing strong and me getting tired out because now I got baby ducklings behind me. I'm like, look, this, this is too much. Go ahead. What you want us to do? <laughs> so I calm down. I'm like, you know what? You drive this ship pretty well, huh? <laughs> I was just about to say that. You just, I, bro, yeah, I give you yeah. all your props. If I'd have known then what I know now, I'd be like, let's go. <laughs> I'm like, what? What? Like Rochelle say on Everybody Hates Chris, what? My man got two jobs. <laughs> like, bro, no. He, that's the captain right there. What, what did you say? Hold on, let me go verify this with the captain. Babe, listen, this, okay. Mm -hmm. Which one me tell him? Okay. Yeah, the captain said no. <laughs> but it's like 21 years in the making. Look, okay. All right, we almost done. We'll, we'll pause. Oh, we had an hour and three minutes, but we only got like what? Five, six, seven more verses. Okay. Verse 28. In which manner they that assume kingdoms professing to be gods of salvation and thus enticing my innocent ones unto themselves become bound not only to their subjects but to the contract of deliverance unto salvation for so created I them the voice ceased and Osiris said if a man wed a woman with an evil temper his glory lieth not in going away from her but in teach, look at boy, listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> I have not read ahead in this chapter. Listen. Oh, look. Oh, Janie of Yah, look. Since I learned that the hard way, there is a protection in humility. <laughs> oh, wow. It, that, I, 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 can, I can say yes, that is the truth. It really is. From experience, I can humbly say, yes, there is protection in humility. Listen, the voice ceased, and Osiris said, If a man wed a woman with an evil temper, his glory lieth not in going away from her, but in teaching her to overcome her temper. Or if her husband be evil, her glory lieth not in going away from him, but in reforming him. Rather, is it wise? I know, right? That, that is, is beautiful. Awesome, <laughs> like, like this is too much. I'm out of here. Goodbye. Fix this yourself. You ain't changing. I'm out, right? Your glory don't lie in doing that, wow. right? What, what glory can the Father get from that that you gave up because it got too tough for you, right? What if you would have gave up on you? Oh, man. What if we would have gave up on us? That's what I was just saying. What if? <laughs> what if? Man. Oh my gosh, that is scary. Knowing what we have darkness. now, <laughs> my husband said that is utter darkness. Knowing our life what it is today compared to what it used to be, oh man, if there is something that can be salvaged, that's almost so, like a, at a, at a like like at a place of quietness, man. It's yeah. like the voices, the present and the voices left. You know, yeah, right? <sighs> yeah. It's almost that's, like hell on earth. It it literally is. Okay, let me read this, y'all. Listen. Okay, verse 29, page 139 at the top, y'all. Y'all want to go highlight that? Listen. The voice, ceased, the voice ceased, and Osiris said, If a man wed a woman with an evil temper, his glory lieth not in going away from her, but in teaching her to overcome her temper, 
or if her husband be evil, her glory lieth not in going away from him, but in reforming him. Rather is it wise to accomplish whatever work Jehovah hath put in thy way than to desert it for the sake of personal comfort. But this is but this is something that we gotta also do. This does not mean a man and a woman can beat on each other True. and say, Hey, my glory don't lie. Yes. <laughs> well, yeah, wait we, a minute, some Jack. common sense, right? I'm out of here. Yeah. I'm going to put you in the grave. Put your hands on me. I'm going to show you where your glory lies. You know <laughs> your glory will lie right there, six feet deep in the grave. I'm going to help scoop the dirt over you. So, <laughs> right? So but, not, not into that, but it's the little bickering and stuff like yeah. that that you can't overcome. So, yeah. You know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, verse 30. We only got 35 verses, y'all. Okay, verse 30. Nevertheless, there is a limit to all things, save Jehovah. And to the wise, there is power to accomplish much that seemeth impossible at first. Hear ye then my judgment upon you, which is that ye shall assume, ye, ye shall again assume kingdoms, and every one have all the subjects he had before. And ye shall provide, and ye shall be provided with places and thrones by my archangels, and with counsels of my archangels also. And I will give to each and every one of you an assistant God, who shall sit on your right hand for four years, the time of this dawn, teaching how to teach and what to teach. That's beautiful. My host will now conduct you to the places prepared for you around which are erected walls of agony. And when ye are safely seated on your thrones, <clears throat> your former subjects shall be brought before you in groups and a judge to the labor and to the schools and such other places as are suited to them according to their strengths and talents. And I pronounce it upon ye, I'm sorry, <clears throat> and I pronounce it upon you that ye shall deliver your respective subjects sufficiently for the third resurrection, wherein according to your zeal and faithfulness will my hosts labor with you to the end that Jehovah may be glorified in your harvest for emancipated worlds. Attend, therefore, to give the sign in Jehovah's name and receive ye ordination from my hands by the power and wisdom of the great spirit. The sheriffs showed them how to make the sign and how to stand before the throne. And then Osiris said, By thy wisdom and love and power, O Jehovah, which rest in me, do I anoint these, <clears throat> thy gods for thy service and for the exaltation of thy kingdoms forever. Amen. The light was now becoming so brilliant that many of the newly made gods quailed before it. But the marshals conducted them and they passed before the throne of Osiris where they were crowned and arrayed as gods of the second resurrection. After which they were again conducted before the council and saluted on the sign. And thence to martial music, they were taken to the kingdoms prepared for them. And that, my beautiful people. <laughs> Jim, I just saw your comment. I'm going to scoop the dirt. I'm going to scoop the dirt over you. Okay, y'all. That was it for today. This, this, this is wonderful. I'm glad we get to go through it together, right? <clears throat> so I'm just as excited. <laughs> And shocked when I read, as I read things to you, like I'm getting them for the first time, just like if if, if it's y'all first time too, right? So we like going, like as a, as a group, we going through it together, right? So we get all the feels, all the first time excitements and all that stuff. It is, this is absolutely amazing. I absolutely love it, right? All right, y'all. So that's it for today. I will, to, look, tomorrow, Saturday. So we might get to read a little bit longer. If y'all tell me to keep going tomorrow, I don't know. I got I to gotta see what it is tomorrow. If we're going to read the meditation book um, or we're going to keep going through the book outside. This, this, is, this, this is just amazing. All right. It is what? Oh, we almost done. Hold on. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen chapters. 13 chapters in the book of Osiris, and we already on seven. All right. And then we go on to, uh, what is it? The, is it the, the Lord's fifth book. And that's pretty short. 
And then we'll start Book of Fragapatty. I think I said that right. Fragapatty. Yeah. Book of Fragapatty. Fragapatty. <laughs> it just sounds funny. All right, y'all. So that being said, we done today. Look. Look. Okay. It is Friday, May the 27th, 2022. Day 119 of year four, reading through the books of the Lord of Prophets. Another four year consecutive day count, day 1137. We read only the book of Osiris and the OISB pages 132 through 139. And if we get time tomorrow or whatever, or we, we might, I don't know. We'll see. We might get to the meditation portion of the reading that we ain't been reading in a couple of days because we're so excited about what we're reading in the OISB. All right. That's it, y'all. I'm done. I'll see y'all back here tomorrow. May y'all continue to bless you all. And may your journey in truth be just as exciting every day as it is today as we learn and we can resonate and we feel the truth just flowing in and through us. And may we be able to take it, capture it, assimilate it within ourselves and turn around and give it back, right? So we can receive more. What the creator, great creator gives to us when we take it and we give it back, he gives us more, right? We become a conduit for transfer, right? But if you take it and hold on to it, it's like putting a bowl over your light on the hill, right? If you got light, let everybody see. Take it off. Light the world, right? With that being said, I love y'all. I'll see y'all back here tomorrow morning, 7.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Peace.